Using VLOOKUP across multiple tabs is very easy to accomplish with Python's library OpenPyXL. You just have to specify the sheet name when you are creating the VLOOKUP formula. Here I have our testing document, which contains two tabs, sheet one and sheet two. The first tab has a column of numbers in column A and the corresponding letters of the alphabet in column B. Sheet 2 has those same numbers, but in descending order. Here I have the VLOOKUP formula correctly returning the letter G for row 1. For this video, I won't go into the details of exactly how to write the formula, as I have covered that topic in another video. If you are interested in how to implement the formula and knowing the details of how to use the formula, please click the link at the top of this video or the link in the descriptions. Looking at this formula specifically, you may notice that there is something odd going on. The table array argument contains sheet 1 followed by an exclamation point. This is Excel's way of knowing that that specific table array is located in another part of the workbook on a completely different tab. So now let's remove the formula that is in column B Save and close the document so that we are starting with an empty column and a fresh workbook. And now I'll move to Python to show you how you can fill that column in with a loop. I start off by bringing in the workbook as WB and then selecting the worksheet as WS. You'll notice that I am only selecting sheet two for this demonstration. I don't need to select sheet one because I will not be writing any code that actually affects that sheet. I will then be saving the work in the cell below. Here is the cell that applies the VLOOKUP formula to the entire column on sheet 2. I am using a for loop to iterate through a range of numbers. I start with the number 1 and use the max row attribute of the worksheet to designate when the loop should stop. I add 1 to that last number because the range function does not include the second number within the loop. So if I want to loop from 1 to 7, which represents the range of cells that I'll be working with, I must state that we need to loop in a range 1 through 8. For more information about using the max row attribute to add data to a worksheet, you can click on the link at the top of this video or see the link below in the comments for a video where I review that specifically. By using the max row attribute, we are ensuring that the loop is exiting once there's no more rows of data. Each time in this iteration, the iterating variable is called row. I am selecting each row as they are iterating up one by one and making sure my lookup value is also increasing so that the row value of column A in sheet two matches the table array located in sheet one. I'll go ahead and execute this cell now. I will save the workbook and I will reopen it to check the work. And here you can see sheet 2 now has the VLOOKUP function appropriately applied and displaying the correct letter for each number based upon the contents of sheet 1. So it is actually quite easy to use VLOOKUP across multiple tabs on your workbook. All you have to do is write out the VLOOKUP formula and make sure that lookup value is searching for a table, or rather is searching the table that is located on another tab of your Excel document. That is accomplished by including the sheet name followed by an exclamation point in the formula arguments. Thank you as always for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and let me know what other features of OpenPixel or Python in general you would like to see reviewed in future videos. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can know when the next video comes out.